Hi everybody, here's the next update to my Aerial Applicator Quest. Now over the past 12 months, uh, I have spent quite a bit of time writing the petition, um, selecting the drone that I will be using for aerial application of pesticides, and then finally submitting my petition to the FAA. Unfortunately, I submitted the, I submitted the petition uh, in the midst of the shutdown um, on, a, on or about January 4th. Of 2019 so that's still pending in the meantime I did get to go down to Florida to beautiful Orlando to demo one of the aerial uh, platforms that I could use in the future for aerial application and included in this video I've got a bunch of clips now this isn't the one that I have written into my proposal I think the one that you're about to see is the AG M8E, which is the 15 liter model. The one that I have written into my, my petition is the AG M6E, which is a 10 liter model. Uh, I believe manufactured by the same manufacturer. Now, I wanna stress one thing that when I started this process, I hoped that I would find an American company that was manufacturing an agricultural drone that's not the case. There are only a handful of companies in the United States that produce a drone, but at the bare bones, they're manufacturing the airframes and the electronics, of course, come from China. Now, the same with the company that I did select for uh, the drone that I writ that wrote into my petition. Um, unfortunately, they don't manufacture them, they order them from China. So unfortunately, while I wish that was different, while I wish I could find and source a drone with every component manufactured here in the United States, that's simply not possible. However, it was a good experience. Um, I got an idea about what I'm going to be in for as a commercial uh, applicator with one of these drones, how much that, that what I'm gonna be able to offer to, to farms, municipalities, and things of that nature with this technology. Uh, and what its limitations are was the biggest question that I had overall. Now, the the drone that I have selected, of course, is only a 10 liter model, so a little over two gallons of liquid that it can that it can safely carry, and I have to be below 55 pounds, and that will treat approximately three acres. Really depends on the kind of chemical that I'm that I'm applying and what I'm trying to accomplish with it. In the demonstration, I did see in, in a single charge in a single tank, six acres completed in about 16 minutes, no, 32 minutes, I believe it was, and a charge time of about 45 minutes. So that's 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 pretty neat as far as that goes. So you could cover quite a bit of ground in a day's time with this particular drone, not the one I have yet to see what my drone is going to be able to produce other than the numbers that they have given me so far. So. <clears throat> Please enjoy the next few clips. Um, this drone is completely commercial. There's no frills about it. There's no cameras. It, it's meant to do one thing, one thing very well, and it did so. Uh, I got the opportunity to fly it, and if you want to know how it flies, it's like flying your dinner table. This drone is about six feet across, um, weighs with the batteries without any kind of payload in the almost 30 pound range but fully loaded is almost, I think it was 73 or 74 pounds with a full tank. So not a small vehicle to be flying around overhead, although you should never fly over, over anyone. So I think, but um, enjoy the next few clips, come back in at the end and go over some more stuff. Thank you. takeoff and landing time of the area that we can cover. Mm -hmm. So we did uh, six acres in 16 minutes, right? Let's see, we did. And this is counting some This time. is half, so 32 minutes we did, 16, 16 is 32. We did how many acres? 12. 12. And so 12 minutes. times two is 24 acres. And 24 acres in an hour. Including takeoff and landing and switching batteries. And you Right, doesn't spray, but as soon as it pops 
forward, press. And it's basically directly related to the speed that you're flying. So if I fly real slow, it sprays a lot less. If I fly much faster, it spray a lot more. And it does the same thing while it's flying auto automatically in its uh, little turns and everything. Oh, let me do an AD mode real quick. I haven't shown you guys that yet. So first thing I'm going to do is clear any existing points. And I do that by toggling the switch up and down and keeping an eye on that light. Like I said, that light tells us a whole lot about the light. Yes, do the flashing light. Yep. It's cleared. Let's go ahead and mark point A right there. Get a yellow light. And fly forward a little bit. Start to pump auto out there, right? And I'll mark point B. Green light. Put in AD mode, and I'll have it go to the left. But holding the switch to the left, off it goes. Now I set AB mode up earlier. It's set up a little bit faster than the previous mode, so you're gonna see it uh, a little bit quicker. But it does the same thing. It'll just keep going until it doesn't stop. I also have a setup right now to do a U-shaped corner instead of a square. See the red lights in the back when we take the rear. In the front, we have white lights. Super bright, so you can see it really well long distances. You can see how bright it is out today. It's, it's, a, it's a very bright day. Yeah. Ooh, it's, it's very, you know, a simple aircraft to operate. It's very simple to pump. Can I try it with the pump? Sure. Now, if it does run out of fluid while you're flying like this, it is going to return to home. So if it starts climbing out of the blue, don't be alarmed. <laughs> and it just automatically starts to pump off? Yeah, if you fly forward, you'll see it. And you did say that was an auto mode. It? it is. There you You can see in the taller grass out there, you can really see the crop wash. See that? Okay, that was pretty neat, wasn't it? Kind of like flying a dinner table around. Um, while the video isn't very descriptive as far as exactly how big it is, uh, I couldn't include every clip in there because some of it just wasn't useful. And unfortunately, it was about 90 degrees in uh, Orlando that particular day, and my phone, the only thing that I really had for uh, filming, kept overheating and shutting down. So, you know, and coming back to Ohio where it was, you know, 20, 10, cold, ugh, it was horrible. But I did get the opportunity to speak with a farmer that was there uh, to, to, demo, to, to demo the drone as well. Um, and I got to, to, to bat some ideas off of him about what, what his use case would be for this particular thing. Now, and he said a lot of farmers have the exact same problem where they have a field where a crop duster can't get to and they can't get their equipment on after a certain amount of growth, which makes a lot of sense. And this would, this would uh, fit that need perfectly now the drone in those clips um, was the bigger one over 55 pounds which they do have a great exemption for that i can go through the process after i get my petition but that's in the future uh, but even being able to do you know just three acres at a time three acres per tank doesn't necessarily mean that i wouldn't be able to do 30 40 50 acres 
in a shot in a very short amount of time, um, which they didn't quite have the data for the drone that I specified in my petition. Um, but I would assume with battery swaps and you know having everything ready to go, you could do quite a bit of area in a very short amount of time. So I'm excited. Um, <clears throat> still waiting on my petition to be approved. I'm in the pre-application phase with the FAA for my Part 137 application. Uh, so as soon as I see something done with my petition, then I can then I can put my letter intent letter of intent in with the FAA to start that process, and then it should be, I would think, a somewhat faster process from there. But Keep watching here for my next update video as soon as my petition is approved or anything gets done with it to this point I would be happy and I'll make an update and be sure to put it up here so keep watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button like it if you liked it and if you got any questions go ahead and ask me in the comments below thanks everybody